This is for the new hybrid. You don't have to follow my rule, but it's the best rule that, that me and my father figure out because we have no time to absorb every flowers in our house. For me, uh, I think that when when the water lily start germinate from the seed, it's just like people. We have the young, the teenage, mm -hmm. and the working age, mm -hmm. and the old age. So the time that long enough and we stop on 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 develop ourselves, it should be on the working age. Mm -hmm. Okay, from baby crowd until you go up and full grow to be a mature people. I think for the worldly that that we observe for a long time, I think it has the same kind of that thing. From people, before we mature enough, we're going to be baby, childhood, teenage, and mature, and then you grow old. Okay, I think after we observe uh, water lily and lotus in our house, since my father do it uh, 40 more than 40 years before. Okay, we think that the water lily seedling and lotus seedling they have their own growing step. The way that the better way for the hybridized the new hybrid to see, to make sure that it's still the same in every flower it should be the mature state of the water lily so when it start germinate from a seed it's a baby state the first flower should be a childhood state and until the 10 flowers it should be teenage and for us i think that it should be the 20 the the flower that that open the 20 flowers, it should be the mature stage. And after the 20 flowers, it should be the same for all the flowers. As you hybrid, do you know, sometimes you find it in the first time it have uh, 20 petals, but for a long uh, development, maybe you can find it about 40 petals, something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for, for our house, we set the rule for the hybrid when we want to give a name. It's only two. First rule is about see the flowers until the 20 flowers, or if you have no time, two years. That's what we do. Thank you. Okay, because I have no time. Right. That's why when I select something, I put the year. So I notice that if I have no time, I look at it again in that year and it should be Same. stable. Okay, when you're asking me about how can I figure out to, to give the name for the new water leaf that we hybrid or we select it from the open seed. After year 2007, I asked him to my father that we should have a rule to when we give the name for it. Okay, we got at least four or five rules about this thing. For the first rule, it must be Thai name. The second rule, it if we put the lab, that is the name of my grandfather name, as the suffix or the prefix on the tropical day blooming, which means that water lily should have more than 28 petals, or separate include together. Okay. The third rule is if it comes from open pollination or natural hybrid, selecting for the, the, the seed. If it's gorgeous, have the stunning or the beautiful colors or something that's stunning more than normal one, it should have the Thai words that mean God in the name. The Thai words that mean God in the name is Thep, or T H E P H. It's pronounced Thep. It means God. Another word is Thewada. But but normally I use only word Thep. Okay. okay. And the fourth rule is come from open pollination. Beautiful but not so stunning. Just give a normal name. And the the, the fifth rule 
name it after the person that we would like to honor or grateful for him. So that's why the thing called Garet Napa come up. The thing called Grand the White come up. And the thing called Buarapi come up is the name of the person that we would like to honor them. Okay. The last uh, my my latest name is S Guy. S Guy is the name of my photographer teacher. He's a pro professional photographer and he teach me a lot how to take a picture. Okay, so that's why I res respect him and I grant for him. So when I select the 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 second of my my ISD hybrid between Arsenal type and the tropical day blooming type, I call it after his name, S Guy. Okay, got an idea. This my five rule after year. 2007